before the bell game. The two rivals got their fans pumped for tonight's match. Centennial and Central both had assemblies today. Garrity on News Channel 13's Carl Winder spoke with two families who say it's a family affair. It's a ring many have heard for 65 years. For the Arianos, the bell has always stayed red. We had the bell all four years of our high school year. Michelle Ariano says even after she graduated, Bell Week keeps her coming back to her alma mater. Here I get to wear all my stuff and it's just ongoing tradition. Now she gets to watch her sons play for the Bell. Well, since it's my last one, I put everything that I have into it. Every spirit week that we've had, everything that I could possibly do to try and make the most out of my last Bell Week and my last Bell game. Centennial wants to continue its winning streak of Bell game victories, but Central wants to start a new legacy. Oh, we're going to get that thing here. It's going to we're going it's going to ring blue after tonight. Devin Johnson says he wants to make his great grandfather proud because when he played for the Wildcats in the 50s, the bell stayed blue. Oh yeah, 3 years, 3 years in a row. After the clash between the rivals, one thing is certain. Whoever wins the 115th bell game, their legacy will be solidified. In Pueblo. Carl Winter, KRDO News Channel 13. A lot at stake, right? The game starts tonight at 7 o'clock. Yeah. By the way, we're wearing red for Wear Red Friday. So Needs plenty of people out. in the yeah. office wearing blue, though, as well, <laughs> with their red. Just want to make that clear. Nearly 15,000 people, again, expected to attend that game tonight. Rachel, are they going to need the umbrellas or jackets? I wish.